Hello folks, this is Greg Martin. I want to say hi to my friends at the Les Paul Forum and everybody on the internet. And today, courtesy of uh, the Gibson Custom Shop and uh, my good friend Dave Rogers at Dave's Guitars, uh, we're actually demonstrating a really cool version of uh, my 58 Les Paul, better known as Hank, as Joe Bonamassa named him years ago. And uh, this is what we call the collector's choice number 15. <laughs> this is serial number 219. And um, this is a really, really nice guitar. Fat neck. You can hit those nice 11th chords. Or get that nice singing vibrato. Or if you want to, you can even go. See, I feel like that flat. Flat it, armpit note there. Anyway, folks, uh, I'm pretty sure. What's that sweet tone? Hummingbird. Anyway, you see it? Got a nice, uh, nice uh, cherry back, uh, rosewood neck, and look at that. Just enough flame. Mine is very plain, but this has got a little. It's got its own little thing going. Now, while we're at it, I also want to uh, talk about a couple of books that um, that my original 1958 is in. Hank, this is a uh, my friend Vic Dupre, First Believers One, which you can see my ugly mug in there, and you can see Hank over there in the corner with the serial number, and also. First Believers number two, with a picture of me, looks like I just got out of bed with Hank. So I guess uh, that's there. They go. And thanks to you, Mr. Victor Prey, for the the nice book. And another little thing too about these guitars. I think the love affair with these guitars probably started for me with John Sebastian back at, with uh, the Love and Spoonful. But another big reason we love these Les Pauls so much is Eric Clapton right here sitting with that nice double stack of 100 watt Marshalls and he's sitting there with his 1958 or 59 Les Paul and his nice Bob Dylan fro. So there you go, folks. That's where it all began. So this right here is a very cool guitar, uh, thanks to the Gibson Custom Shop. And it also has its own little history and it's a little book with my name on it. The name got my name right. They didn't even do it at Midgap County High School when I graduated, so it's a shame. Plays great. Guess I could use a pick. Great guitar. Now, How do you get these guitars? Well, you can talk to Dave Rogers or talk to any Gibson dealer. Um, we all love Les Pauls. Do we all like Les Pauls here? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Well, how about you, buddy? He's only on this gentleman right here. Do you like Les Pauls? Yes, sir. You what, can't get... What's that, sir? You know, but are you ready to graduate? Am I ready to graduate? Are you ready to graduate? Are you ready to graduate from a Telecaster? to the fat sound that a Gibson will give you. Yes, now, sir. we all love Robbie Roberts, and he wrote some great songs, you know, and we forgive him for the last waltz. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we do forgive him for that. You know what I'm saying, yes, right? Sir. It was kind of a, he did write some great songs. But let me ask you this, have you really listened to Michael Bloomfield and Paul Kossoff and 
Dickie and Dwayne and um, Jimmy Page and Jeff Beck when he was playing with Les Paul. Um, you know, take take a look at it. See, man, I think you should check this out. What do you think? Do you think you could actually dig one of those? See, he's well, all the best slot players, such as yourself, play Les Paul, so. Well, this is your the... lucky day because this is your guitar. Come here. This is your guitar. <laughs> <laughs> it's an early graduation <laughs> gift. Really this is guitar. your guitar. Wow. Yeah. That is, uh... So, are you ready to? It's the Telecaster. It's time to go. Come on up and take the challenge now. Take the challenge. <laughs> I'll do it. You think you can handle it? I think so. Well, congratulations! You got a great guitar. Your daddy took. Yeah. Took good care of you on that. That is a fine guitar. I was even trying to figure out what like, surely he won't like that. I like it. <laughs> so, dude, congratulations, son. That's your, uh, I assume, a, you're giving it to him now. Mm -hmm. So that means yeah. you've got to graduate. Now. Yeah, he has to. I'm going to try. So you're graduating yeah, you twice. School or go on the road. Right. You're graduating right. twice. You're graduating from high school. Also, from a Telecaster to a Les Paul. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, right. Thank you, Mr. Greg Martin, one of my Kentucky heroes. Thank you. And you, be, you, you carry on the uh, carry on the tradition. I'll As you see, the little, little flunkies and Otis have been doing it. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Two.